This week is a real feast of central banker announcements, with the Bank of Canada and the Federal Reserve cutting today, and the Bank of England expected to hold tomorrow based on the hot inflation data which came out today. The UK is actually a bit of an outlier among advanced economies. In the US, inflation is below 3%. In the Eurozone, inflation is around the European Central Bank's 2% target. But in the UK, well, not so much. The latest data for August held inflation at the highest level in more than one and a half years as consumer prices rose 3.8% from a year earlier. So while the labour market is gradually cooling, policymakers fear elevated price pressures are fueling inflation expectations among consumers. The Central Bank expects inflation to peak at 4% in September, double its 2% target. So the Monetary Policy Committee is expected to leave rates on hold at 4% tomorrow and could lay the groundwork for a longer pause in borrowing costs, ending the once a quarter cutting pace it's maintained since August last year. So inflation is sticky and there seems no short-term relief in sight in the UK. Now across in Canada, the Bank of Canada cut interest rates as the economy and labour markets showed damage from US tariffs, but they kept tight-lipped on any future path for monetary easing. The Bank of Canada remains in a bind, it seems, as it weighs the upside risk to inflation against the downside risks to growth from the trade war. Now in the US, the Fed cut rates by the expected 25 basis points, reacting to the weaker employment data and implicitly the pressure from the White House to cut and cut hard. And presumably, new board member Stephen Myron, who wanted 50 basis points of cuts, according to the dot plot, which suggests a further two cuts this year and one next year. There was actually no real change to their economic forecast. The growth rate was up slightly, while the PCE inflation projections were unchanged for this year, but higher for the next year, up from 2.4% to 2.6%. They said inflation has moved up and remained higher. GDP was upgraded from prior projections. So it looks like the Fed is cutting into higher inflation, which poses the question, is this the Mirren effect? Maybe as a Trump proxy, the spread of the dot plots is extremely wide. And there was only one dissent, which is perhaps surprising, given the 25 basis point cut. And I think we can see Trump's shadow cast on the Fed. Now, in Australia, chances of a September interest rate cut by Australia's Federal Reserve will hinge on the release of the national employment figures due out today. 